after one o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm your moderator, Ann Freya, from Oklahoma City Community College. Um, and we're here for formative assessment and OER using Pressbooks results. Um, we have John McLeod with us from Pressbooks. And you can, you can see he's up there um, on the screen. Um, for everybody in the Zoom room, I'm going to be paying attention to chat. So if you have questions, anything you'd like to comment on there, I will be paying attention. So please feel free to interact that way um, as we move through the presentation. All right, I'm going to turn it over to you, John. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Ann. Um, Just want to make sure everyone can hear me. So uh, maybe a thumbs up, but... Uh, Oh, awesome. Great. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't join you today, but I very much appreciate the opportunity to uh, present. Uh, and what I wanted to go over is, uh, just as Anne said, formative assessment in OER using Pressbooks results. Um, so what is Pressbooks? Um, and many of you many of you already know that Pressbooks is publishing uh, software uh, formulated for the digital age where users, so that's uh, when I say users, it could be authors, editors, contributors, even students uh, can create content from scratch. They can adapt material from the Pressbooks directory or other sources using Pressbooks. And they can also make their books interactive and engaging for students. So how do we uh, support most of that uh, interactive engagement with Pressbooks. Uh, Pressbooks uses the open source software H5P to enable users to add a wide variety of interactive elements to their books. So there's uh, over 40 different types of interactive activities that uh, will re uh, pass back responses to uh, from H5 H5P to an LMS gradebook using Pressbooks results. So they could be quiz questions, they could be um, fill in the blanks, um, you could have interactive videos, and I'll show you a few examples of the different types of activities that people are using. So uh, this is one example, and, and I will share these, screen, uh, these shots with you. Um, so this is a screenshot from a book, it's called Vital Sign Measurement Across the Lifespan. And uh, this is a, an example within that book of uh, interactive video where students uh, proceed, they can watch a video and at several points during the video, you can see here they're, they're tagged down at the bottom at several points, they'll get a question that they have to respond to and they have to get correct before uh, they can move on with the rest of the video. So uh, within each one of our Pressbooks uh, titles that are available on the Pressbooks directory. Um, I'm just going to click on this uh, link here. So you can see here that each book on a Pressbooks network has this little H5P listing. So as a instructor or as an author looking for activities that are openly available that you can uh, use in your book, um, you can have a look at other books without going all the way through the web book. And you can have a look at um, this show activity. And so this will show you the video. Uh, it'll, uh, if the author is selected, um, it'll show you the rights of use. And uh, if you need to uh, cite it, how, how you would cite or uh, provide copyright information or attribution. Um, so you can go through each one of these. Um, if this is something that you wanted to use, if you looked at this and you saw this question set, and you tried it a few times um, and you wanted to use that with your uh, your own uh, book, you can click this reuse button to easily download the H5P content and then upload that into your own book and reuse that material. Uh, once you've uploaded it to your own book, you can uh, use the H5P hub available on Pressbooks to adapt this question any way you like. So you can uh, change the question around, you can edit it, you can uh, make it your own for your own class situation. So just back to my slides here. So um, H5P, when you're using Pressbooks results, H5P activities as uh, seen by the student in, uh, in this example, this is a canvas view. 
So you can see here that when you're using uh, Pressbooks book that's been <laughs> uploaded to uh, your LMS, um, this is how it presents within the LMS. So um, the uh, navigation within your book, you can see down at the bottom here, you've got next and previous, um, just as you might expect in the web book of a Pressbooks title. Um, but it's presented within a secure iframe within uh, using LTI uh, protocol. And it's a secure iframe embedded within the Canvas course itself. So what we do with Pressbooks results is that uh, instructors are able to see the student interactions in their grade book. So up until this fall, uh, Pressbooks results uh, provided a, uh, a cumulative grade back to the grade book based upon the students' activities and interactions with the H5P activities. So you can see here um, that some students, uh, this is out of 16, someone got uh, full marks, This is, uh, they got 70% here. And as you might expect, then uh, it will give uh, a, a grade based upon these activities that you've assigned. And uh, here's uh, an example of a book uh, within Pressbooks. This is just one of our, uh, our demo books. And if I go into the Pressbooks platform itself, um, what you'll see here, uh, this is within the Pressbooks platform. And because I've turned on uh, grade passback on this book, if I go down here, this is the, uh, the LMS grade reporting pane. So I can choose which activities I want to include in the score report. Um, and the score report will, again, pass a cumulative grade to the uh, grade book based upon what I choose within each chapter. I'm going to pop in right now to uh, just show you what that looks like again within Canvas. So here's the assigned chapters. So if a student was to come in and load this up, now a copy of the web book is going to be presented, going to be presented to the students within the LMS. So you can see here that they can now go through, they can answer the questions. Oh, didn't get that right. I've set these questions so that they can retry them, or you can just so show the solution. Uh, we're going to retry. Got that right this time. Uh, here's a little quiz that I could take. Um, there's different questions to answer along the way. And each one of these questions uh, returns a grade back to the, uh, the grade book. Um, and then a post poem quiz here. So I'm not gonna go all the way through this um, because I'm still logged in as an instructor. Uh, I think you get the point there, but here's the grade book again. So you're able to see um, the student results for each one of these uh, chapters within your book. So each one of these chapters uh, produces a column and the grades across the class. So you can see uh, from an instructor's point of view, who's doing well in the class, uh, and this is just a cumulative score. So up until this fall, this is all that was produced. But what we've done this fall, we've been working with our development team. And if I go into the uh, main page of the course, we've built something called the Pressbooks Activity Viewer. Um, so if I click on this as an instructor, so the Pressbooks Activity Viewer is available to both uh, instructors for the whole class and also to students. And give it a second to load up here. So what you can see with the chapter results viewer is how um, within each chapter, how all students did across uh, the each one of the activities, each one of the questions within uh, the chapter. So if I wanted to go to um, the, another chapter, I can see these questions. If I want to focus on a particular student, you can see how they responded. Um, you can see a score and you can uh, look at other scores, uh, the activity, uh, the number of attempts. 
And so we're hoping to give instructors and students a better view into the learning that's taking place. Um, we're also uh, right now configuring the uh, results viewer so that there are some more um, uh, visual feedback available to instructors so that you can see where a student uh, did a, on an attempt, which questions they got right, which questions they got wrong, and you'll be able to see that across the class as well. So, from the, so far from the student experience and what we've heard when we've been piloting Pressbooks results, with it enabled students to access their H5P activities in a Pressbook directly through their LMS. Um, they don't have to navigate to another site to, to see the book and read the book. Um, they get formative feedback by interacting with the H5P activities as they're reading their book. They can review and retake those H5P activities to increase their understanding and they get a, a grade back in their LMS based upon their results. And we're currently piloting, like I said, and getting feedback from students on the new uh, chapter results features uh, to see what kind of information uh, students are uh, valuing from, from that presentation. For the instructors uh, with Pressbooks results enabled, instructors who have created H5P activities to increase the interactive elements of their books have reported back to us that uh, the grade pass back informed them who in the class was using the resources created by the instructor. A lot of work goes into developing OER and um, uh, we've heard from a number of instructors that uh, they weren't, prior to using Pressbooks results, they weren't sure who was even reading the work that they had put so much effort into uh, providing to the students. And so at the very least, Pressbooks results give you gives you a picture of who is reading the material you've put together. Um, but uh, we are also heard reports that students who did the work in Pressbooks results did better overall in the course. That is probably something that uh, stands to reason that students who read the book and, and uh, uh, do the, the quiz activities are uh, going to do better in the course, but it is nice to know. And uh, Pressbooks results let instructors see also when students engage with the readings. Are they reading these uh, activities and doing um, the quizzes uh, before the class or after class? Are they attempting them before and then doing them later? So it gives them a view uh, further into that and uh, how students are using the material. So um, we are currently piloting uh, the new feature and we are uh, going to be further piloting Pressbooks results this coming term to get more feedback from students and instructors on uh, the chapter results viewer so that uh, we have uh, a, a better view of what instructors want, what students want, and we're hoping to get a little information on the results from chapter uh, the chapter results viewer and the impact on the student learning. So if anyone is interested in that this coming uh, term, I'll put this in the chat, but I'll sh like I said, I'll share these, um, uh, share these slides after. Um, but uh, there is a, a Pressbooks results uh, pilot coming up uh, this spring. And if you're interested in, uh, you have a Pressbooks uh, book on uh, the Open Oklahoma network, um, and you've got H5P activities, and, and you'd like to try this with your students, we'd be interested in hearing from you. And um, this form uh, can, uh, will go to our customer success team and, and they'll get you more information about participating in uh, the pilot. So that's all my presentation. Uh, I probably flew through that a little too quickly, but uh, um, I'm ready for any questions if there are any. Thank you, John. Are there any questions in the room here? Got one here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh, you mentioned the LTI integration, uh, and you said that it was cumulative and how it passes that back to the LMS. Is there a way to for those to be broken out, or is that only broken out by the chat? 
Yeah, so the the um, the grade basically is per chapter that's passed back to the LMS, but the chapter viewer lets you see um, how each each activity was scored by students or how they did on each activity within a chapter. Excellent, thank you. Yeah, and one more uh, dealing with the video that you had the in in video questions. You had a YouTube example there. Is that the only video hosting platform that's supported, or can you use something else? No, you can uh, you can use a number of different video formats. Um, uh, H5P works quite well with uh, different formats. Um, you can it does embed directly from YouTube, but there are other video providers that H5P will uh, um, support in that embed as well. Another question here. And mine would just be about pricing. Because I know there's a free free option, but obviously it's not connected to the LMS. And so what's just the overall pricing just to kind of get an idea? Sure. Yeah. Um, so uh first off, the the for the pilot, we're offering the pilot as a no no charge pilot for uh the spring semester. Uh, to get that feedback, um, you won't be charged anything to um, to load up the LTI or uh, for your students to participate. Chapter uh, Pressbooks results is available um, uh, to, uh, we call them uh, premium members on our shared networks. And um, it starts at uh, $6 a student uh, and when I say per student, if uh, you have a student that's using uh, OER in two or three courses, that would only count as one student if they were using Pressbooks results for all those. So um, we just count each unique student that's using the uh, LTI uh, integration. So it wouldn't be charged per course, it's just per student. Um, so it starts at $6 per student and um, it for an institution, if you have more students using Pressbooks results, the, uh, um, the charge does go down uh, the more students that are registered. Okay, when you say start, what does that mean? Starting, so what is Yeah, so, um, sorry, it's $6 per student for that grade pass back. And if an institution, let's say, had a uh, 1,000 students, that charge would go down to $3 per student. And all the OCO member institutions already have access to Pressbooks subscriptions. All the OCO institutions already have access to Pressbooks subscriptions. So opting into this would just be a matter, as I understand it, of this class. So when someone was mentioning they work in a free version, you also have access to a paper. Yeah. Yeah. And their scholarships are not. I don't. You see, I don't know if we got that. Yes, if there are scholarships for best books, professional development stuff, for OER development. Oh, okay. 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 So, then, <laughs> so there aren't current options, right? Really, but that doesn't mean that there can't be. As so, you know, if there's ways to believe that we can bring that back in the future, we can just stand it off the table for now to offer other great opportunities. But this pilot is free, John, right? Yes. Yeah. There's no charge uh, for uh, any of the grade pass back. Um, so, there's no student charge. Um, no student charge to, to uh, any of the institutions that participate. And um, we will, it will require that we load up uh, with your uh, Pressbooks network and your LMS, that LTI integration. So uh, we're hoping to get out in front of that over the next couple of months uh, in case there's any uh, uh, questionnaires or any security assessments that have to be done uh, prior to loading something in the LMS. Any other questions for John? I see anything in the chat right now. 
Uh, four minutes, I think. Oh, here's one. So um, we have the, we are OCO members, so we have the uh, subscription, and then this would be on top of it. Or, uh, I'm, I'm a little... Yeah, we have HIV, it's just not... I'm sorry, I just something. Um, what was it, Machine? So, so you said we have press for the OCO membership, and then this would be on top of it? Right. So, we do, if the HIV is turned on in your book, which I don't know if Brad has to turn it on, or if you have the administrator logo on your book, have to turn it on, we do have access through Pressbooks to HIV as far as just the experience. Of doing, if you want it to take a grade and send it to the LMS, that's what this is. And I don't know, you might be able to explain it better. Check. Yeah, because you have to install that. It has to be installed for your LMS. Mm -hmm. So we have the we have the ability to create the quizzes and the questions and the questions. We just don't have the integration to LTI. I would wonder if you could pre-purchase a group and say, that, yeah, this is great. We want a thousand seats, or we want five thousand seats, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, did you hear that? I was asking, let's say you piloted this and you said this is great, and you want to pre to say a thousand seeds or something like that. Is that how that works, or or do you have a, a higher price break if you get 5,000 seeds, or this is per institution, I'm assuming, not a big group? <laughs> Yeah, um, it, it is per institution, and the more students using it, the better price break. So, yes, at a thousand, it would go down. At five thousand, go down again. Um, and and uh, yeah, um, we'll work that out. Um, but yes, we do have price breaks along the way. The more students you have using the tool, and would you consider doing a statewide contract? Because a lot of small schools all around the state. And they benefit from statewide contracts. Yes, absolutely. We've done statewide contracts with a couple of uh, shared networks already. Um, where, for instance, uh, in Utah, they have a very similar network, a shared network, and every institution has unlimited use of Pressbooks and unlimited use of Pressbooks results. Okay. Unfortunately, it's medium. So, two separate questions. <laughs> One of them is, is when you do the activities, do you have the option to do non-grade, so it's just a self-check activity? And you can monitor that as well in the grade book, even if it's not for points. Yeah. So when you're setting up um, the book, I'm just in uh, a chapter here for a book, and uh, I have the opportunity, if I don't want to include something in uh, the score report, then I just select that and that grade is no longer going to be passed for that activity so it's just a self-check for students so instructors are uh, able to select what they want included in the score report if you have multiple activities within a chapter um, and you can set up the grading scheme however you want so right now it's set to average attempt i might want to set it to best so that i give students an opportunity to to get 100 percent um, or if you want first or last attempt so you're able to select that grading scheme and and what activities you want to count for that cumulative grade. Okay, second question, my final one for the day, is with the, if I already use um, Pressbook and it's not um, connected to the, um, the learning management system, what's the conversion? Is it hard to convert over? Or I have to manually copy paste, kind of push, pull it over? Or is there a way to embed it? So let me understand. If, could you repeat? Sorry, I just want to. So if I'm, um, I've got a couple of faculty, including myself, that have used Pressbook, and it's not, it, it's a link that takes them, you know, outside of the learning management system. Yep. And let's say that I want to convert that. I do the, uh, the learning management system. That What's the conversion? Is that a manual where I'm going to have to copy and paste everything over? Or is there a way to embed that import or whatever? Yeah, so there isn't a way. So if if you were, um, let me just pull up this chapter. And if you were sending students to a, a web book and um, they came here and they did the activities, um, if I scroll down a little bit further, there's another quiz. If they did those here, um, we have no, you have no way of uh, knowing who did the activity. 
So uh, within the um, H5P hub, it does track each one of these submissions, but the um, the there's no way to to know who made the submission. So that's where the LTI integration comes in. So that uh, when a student launches that chapter from your Canvas course or from your LMS, then um, we know who made that submission and can report the grade back. So the the H5P activities, uh, I think, is a self-check in, in these uh, books um, that you're creating and, and making openly available to students. I think that they're great learning activities. Uh, for self-checks and formative assessment. But if you did want to uh, get that information back into your gradebook, uh, you need that LTI integration and use Pressbooks results. Thank you, John. Um, we have about three minutes before the next presentation. Could you just put your contact slide up there again? So we you can bet. And thank you so much for being here with us and sharing that information. Yeah, I really appreciate the questions. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.